In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the usage of some, some if, and some ifs functions in Excel. The first thing we're going to look at is the sum function. And so right here we have, we're trying to find out the total cost of all the items between the different stores. So this one's simple enough to do. We'll go ahead and type the equal sign to start our argument. And what we want to do is type in this sum. We'll open up our parentheses. We'll go ahead and select our range. And we'll close out our parentheses and we'll hit enter. And I went ahead and added that entire column for us. But let's say within your data, you need to be just a little bit more specific. So for this, we're going to go ahead and add the price of only the hamburgers for all the stores. So for this, we'll go ahead and click the insert function button here in the formula bar. In the search for function, we'll go ahead and type in sum if. Make sure that's selected and we'll click OK. So for this, because we have a criteria, we need Excel to look through a range and pick out that criteria. So for this, our range is going to be this column right here, A12 to A43, because that's where we have our food items listed. Our criteria, what we want to do is type in hamburger. When we hit tab, it'll put quotation marks around that text. That's a benefit of using the function builder, because if you were manually typing out that formula and you forgot that, your formula would come back with an error message. And then our sum range is going to be the price column. So we'll go ahead and select that. So just to review, we have our range. Our range is the list of items that we want Excel to look through. Our criteria is the word hamburger, because we're only looking for the sum of hamburgers. And our sum range is going to be the numbers that we're adding together. Once we've gone ahead and keyed in those sections of the argument, we'll go ahead and click OK. And we got back the price of $15.78. Let's say within our data, we need to look at multiple criteria. So for this, we're going to look up the sum of meat only at store A. So we're going to go ahead and click the insert function again. We'll go ahead and type in some ifs. Here we'll go ahead and click OK. Now this one's a little bit different than our previous function because it has us putting in the sum range first. So we'll go ahead and select that range. We're still looking for the price. So we'll go ahead and select D12 to D43 here. And the first thing we want to do is put in our first criteria, which is meat. So let's go ahead and select B12 to B43 because that's our food type and we're looking for meat. In criteria, we'll go ahead and type in meat. For this, we have a second criteria and we only want to look for the sales of meat in store A. So our second criteria range is going to be C12 to C43. And for this, what we want to do is type in store A. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And so what it did was it added up row 12, row 13, and row 18's prices together. And we got $9.99. These three formulas can be very powerful and very useful. And I hope that you're able to now incorporate these different functions within your Excel workbooks.